So when I talk about perfect squares and square roots, when we do a square, what we're doing is we're taking a side length, so the side length in red, the edge length, and when we square it, so when we go in this direction, we're going to go from side length, we square the side length, and we get a perfect square area. The square root is going in the opposite direction. So if I square root something, so for example, if I do square root of 64, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this area of 64 squares, and I'm going to end up with a side length of 8, eight squares. So when I square root 64, I end up with this side length on that perfect square of 8. So I start with my square, that's 64. I square root it, and I get 8. Now, there are also non-perfect squares, so there are we don't necessarily have to make a square fit exactly in the grid, but if we do that, we're not going to get whole number side lengths. So those are called non-perfect squares. So perfect squares and perfect square roots work out nicely. We square root area to get side length. We square the side length to get area. And they are opposite operations of each other. So the key idea then is squares and square roots are opposites. They undo each other. They do the opposite thing. So they are opposites. And this idea of opposites is really important in math because we can always go one way and undo it doing an opposite. Okay, these, this idea of opposite things cancelling out is a very key idea in mathematics. So squares and square roots are opposites. Squaring goes from side length to area. It's going in this direction. Square rooting is going in this direction. We take area, a big number, and we square root it to get the side length, which is a smaller number. So squaring is finding area. So when we say it says calculate 3 squared, what does that actually mean? It means that we have a side length 3, we're going to square it, and we're going to get area. So here is my picture that I'm going to use for 3 squared. So 3 squared means the side length is 3. So I have 1, 2, 3 on both length and width. So 1, 2, 3, 1, Two, three, and that square, the area is the answer to squaring it. So when I square something, I get area. So if I count up the square areas, I end up with nine squares. So three, three squared equals nine, and I can see that on my picture. Okay, so when I, on a diagram, I need to be able to label the area and side length. So here's my side length, three. And that comes from the base of that exponent. The area is 9. There's my area. The area is going to be those 9 squares that I'm going to count in my grid. So I end up with 9 squares. And that's going to give me the answer to squaring. Now, squares and square roots are opposites. So square root is finding the side length. So here, I've got an area of 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16. So I have a square, 16 squares. When I square root, I'm finding side length. So the square root of 16 is equal to a side length of 4. So this is going to be equal to 4. And the 4 shows up on the edge. So I can count. There's 1, 2, 3, 4 along the edge length. Okay, so I'm counting edges or length when I find the, the square root. Okay, when I do squares, I'm counting squares or counting the areas.